Hi everyone, it's your favorite narcissist, Tragedy TV. Also, this character right here isn't mine and is instead made by a creator known as Fitzy Pie. They make super cool content, so it'd be worth checking them out if you don't know them already. Do credit to talented people aside, today I will be talking about how and why creativity can suck. Especially if you have too much of it, like I often do. Anyways, I'll first show off the symbols I made. Because I'm pretty sure that's what most of you came here for. I mean, like, look at this thumbnail. It could be hung up in a museum. It's some top-notch shit. So, yeah, here's the key for all the symbols that I've made. The only one I don't know what it means yet is the one that has question marks below it. I'll probably never know what it means, but if you spitball ideas in the comments, then let me know. Yeah, I'd love to hear them. I'll give you a good five extra seconds to really drink these symbols in. Okay, now onto the OCs I've made. This isn't all of them because not all of them have held up, you know? So the first one I'm going to bring up is Flump. I love Flump because she's mostly modeled after like how I look IRL, but she's a superhero who has psychic powers. She only goes out to fight cr uh, like to do good on the weekdays though, because you know, the weekends are for her. If there's a robbery during Sunday, you know, who cares? Um, Flump has huge boobs, H to J cup, she's like 26, wonders where it all went wrong with her life, and pseudo-alcoholic. She actually drinks to dumb herself down to a normal person level, so she can form meaningful conversations with others. She has brown hair and pink eyes. This one I've made is my favorite, unfortunately. The only bit of reference I have for her is the... Pokemon Scarlet character model, like, design screenshots I've taken, because that's where I thought up her design, and I was too lazy and broke to actually, you know, get some good art of her. She's a slime creature that naturally looks human, but can transform to look like anything else, except her eyes will always keep the same coloring regardless. Her color scheme and aesthetics, I think, are amazing, and I think I really outdid myself with her. Her name is Ginger, but, you know, spelt like this. Because, you know, I have to be a little bit quirked up with the sauce. If you want to draw me fan art, draw fan art of her, because she's definitely my favorite aesthetics-wise. If someone would, like, want to make me a PNG tuber-like reactions board for her, I would happily use them. She's 19 and has big boobs, like C to D cup, if that information's relevant. So yeah, those are all of my OCs, or at least the ones I'm actually proud of. The others are either cringe or not really worth bringing up. They're not necessarily bad, it's just I don't care about them as much as I used to, like an Asian parent when their child gets a B on a test. Sure, it's not technically over, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel like it was. Oh right, I've also drawn some art. Oh yeah, I have no idea where to mention this, because it's so out of left field, but I bought a 3D printed Garfield Buddha statue, and I feel like the world just needs to know that about me. But I'm not just quirky or fake cool. I'm super goaded with the sauce. With that quirked up gamer subs promo. Yeah, I already know those gamers will want to bring me on to make Ginger's Goon Juice as a flavor to gamer subs. I just know it. Soon those sponsors will be knocking at my door any moment now. Any moment. Hopefully, I've got addictions to feed. Oh, right, time to rant. Now, this would seem great, right? Hundreds of different amazing ideas for characters, videos, books, and more. All to monetize and make billions of dollars off of. Yeah, you need good ideas to make, you know, art, but honestly, that's just a third of the battle. Like, you can have all of the best ideas in the world, but if you don't have the patience or the love to give said ideas, you're never gonna get anywhere because art is like watering a plant. Yeah, you need the seeds, there's no getting around that. But you also need the water, the heat, the CO2, the minerals, otherwise you're not going to be growing anything regardless of how many seeds you have in your pocket. So in other news, I recently got a Patreon whipped up, so now there's a little section at the end of my videos that will play to give thanks to my goon squad, you're the best. Oh yeah, this is also the guy who makes good songs and is the maker of the song I use for outros, or my outros. Um, 
He's a way bigger YouTuber than me currently, but if by some miracle this video takes off, I really want to give thanks to the people who helped make my artistic vision possible. Remember, it's not the will that makes the artist, but the heart. Without that big heart, art is meaningless. Tragedy TV. Bloopers. Here's a little bonus clip of a vin- Oh, damn. I was so close. Uh, I'll retake that right now.